Brace yourself. I would say we've got a breaking news story, but we've got two. Now, as I'm going through this video, you're going to be like, wow, oh my God, I couldn't believe that. Yes, oh, geez, has that happened? Like, honestly, seriously, the over thing I'm going to say right now is the DP world, this could be the start of the end. Now guys, with all these videos, I love your opinions. So as we go through each and every one of these stories, don't forget to get down in the comments, let me know what you think, and also subscribe, turn the bell, so you never miss a breaking news story. So let's start with this one right here. By the way, the last one about losing a main sponsor, it will all come together. Okay, let's start with this one here. So there are rumors, and we've seen this in the last few weeks, that live golfers have been fined for playing live events that were at the same time as a DP World Tour event. But let me say right now, one DP World Tour Pro has been fined a whopping 675,000 and handed an eight tournament suspension according to social media at Flushing It Golf. One player, 675,000. Now, the link to this is, and why I think this is absolutely astonishing, is simply this. Let me read you right now. This is astonishing. So this, this tweet from Flushing It Golf said this. I've just spoken to a live golf player who has played every single event. He was fined 675k plus for an eight event suspension with further penalties for, for, for any more breaches. Bearing in mind the first place money on the DP World Tour this week is around half that fine. I would expect all full-time live players to resign their membership. Just listen to what I just said. One pro is getting fined 675,000, but first place this week, first place this week is half of that. What is the incentive for these players to play? Okay, I hear you, you're gonna say the prestige. Yes, 100%. For the tournaments that have been around a long time, there is a serious amount of prestige from playing on the DP World Tour. But right now, as a golfer, there's not an incentive in terms of money. They can go and play Live, they can go and play Asian Tour, they can go and play a lot of other tours, or even go to the Corn Free Tour. There's a lot of other opportunities to find themselves earning a lot more money. I remember the days where first prize in 90% of DP World Tour events, formerly European Tour, were 480 plus, 500,000. Now, we're lucky if we get it over 400. I know we've got the Rolex Series events, but they're few and far between. They can't compete with the PJ Tour. They simply can't complete, compete with Live Golf. So the European Tour, as much as this chairman of the European Tour, as much as the CEO doesn't want to hear this, it's 100% become a feeder tour to every other tour in the world. They are threatened, and this, for me, could be the end. Right. Why I'm saying it's the end is simply this. Players right now, golfers, right, they're professionals, they play for money. They want to earn as much money as they can because they realise, actually, yes, we say golf is a long career because you might not get injured, but actually it can be a very short career because of how competitive it is. So players want to earn as much money as they can in a very short space of time. Now, let me go into this tweet a little bit further. The decision is ongoing. The decision is going to be catastrophic for the DP World Tour. The Asian Tour is already encroaching into European soil and they will make, take full advantage of this by showcasing the sanctioned European stars with more events expected next season. As one player just said to me, the decision has just ended the DP World Tour. I tend to agree. It's a very sad situation for European golf. When I was canning the European Tour, the European Tour was strong. It was thriving. We had Matt Fitzpatrick. We had Rory playing most events. We had Shane Lowry playing most events. We had John Ram playing most events. We don't have that now. They are gone. There is not an incentive for these players that play PGA Tour, never mind Lib Tour, to come back over. If the European Tour had any announce about them, they would let Lib Golfers play. Because that, let me tell you right now, that would strengthen their position against the PGA Tour. But... Guess what? The European Tour decided to have a strategic alliance with the PJ Tour. Stupid decision. If you want to look at it as a selfish thing for the European Tour, money-wise. Now, 
Flushing it goes on to say, I've spoken with a number of players now and they've all been given different sanctions. Some have been given fine for events and others haven't. It seems as though Tor has gone heavy on some selected players to force them to resign their membership. Quite bizarre. Now, I have a problem with this, right? We're all saying there's a stickler for rules. If you played an event and you shouldn't have played it, you should get fined. That shouldn't depend on what player you are. That should just be boom, boom, boom. You're all the same. You've all made the decision. You've all decided to leave. Guys, what do you think on this? Like, am I blowing this out of proportion? I honestly think this is the start of the end. And let me tell you right now, this next story will confirm it if it hasn't already. But first off, you know what? Before we get into that next story, do get your opinion down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think on that. Okay, so now let's go a little bit further into this. For more on this, right? The DP World could lose a major sponsor. So we have coming up the Porsche European Open. So this is a heavily weighted event and a heavily supported event. We had the likes when I was carrying this, we had Martin Keimer come over. We had the likes of, I'm going to say even Ricky Fowler at the time came over and played this event. The sponsors wanted them there. Now the DP World Tour could be impossible collision course here with one of the tournament sponsors. After suspensions have been handed to Live Rebels, Paul Casey and Martin Keimer for next month's European Open in Hamburg. Now both players are Ryder Cup stars. I mean, Paul Casey, Martin Keimer. Martin Keimer is the number one sports star or one of the number one sports stars in Germany. Paul Casey is an ambassador for Porsche. Now, if you think of this right now, if you're sponsoring a huge event, so therefore you're paying a lot of money to be there, you want your ambassador to be there, right? Paul Casey. You're a German car manufacturer, so you want a German sports star there. They're both not gonna be there. I honestly could see them, in even in a short space of time, pulling out of this agreement. They want them there because simply, golf fans are more likely to go if those two golfers are playing, whether they're live golfers or not, right? This is where I see issues coming. You're losing big stars. They've either gone to PGA Tour, so not playing a lot on European Tour, or they've been they've t torn up their membership, or they've been banned, they've been sanctioned, they've been fined, so they're like, yeah, you know what? I ain't gonna play on this tour anymore. But as a sponsor, think about it this way. You want them to play, bigger players bring, bring in more crowds, more exposure. This is exactly why we have the elevator events on the PGA Tour, which potentially might not have any cuts because they can charge more for sponsors, bigger players play more often and guaranteed for the four days. Now, European Tour doesn't have this. European Tour is sanctioning all their big players. European Tour is getting rid of all their big players. So if you look at this from a complete European Tour, DP World Tour perspective, European golf could be dead. Honestly, I don't see a strong tour coming from this. I can see a lot of players leaving I'm going to go over to try and get on the PGA Tour, or even Corn Free Tour, or even play a lot on the Asian Tour, because that's the markets right now that are thriving, not the DP World Tour. Guys, as always, let me know what you think on this story. This is a breaking news story here on Bat9 Films. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell so you never miss a breaking news story. And thanks for joining me today.